What's up everybody? Welcome back to Callahan's Garage. My name's Callahan. Today we have a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle in. We got a ton of work to do to this thing, but we're going to start on the rear end and I'm going to show you guys everything that we're going to do. Stick around. So this buddy, this beetle belongs to our good friend David that we uh, did some work on before. We did a rear beam for his Mark II GTI. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. But today we're going to start working on this Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, you may notice there's an underlying theme in a lot of these videos. It's Volkswagens. So this thing has some rust in it. It's got some old accident damage. We're going to get all that fixed up so that he can take this thing to the body shop to get painted. So today we're going to start looking at the rear end. So rear apron, rear bumper mounts, rear wings, quarters. We're going to get all that sorted out, all that fixed up, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. All right, so like I said, today the first thing we're going to tackle is the back half of this Beetle. All right, so you can see I've already completely cut everything off of here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to show you guys how to do this as if you were starting from ground zero. So whether it's a a Baja Beetle or a Beetle that's rusted beyond all recognition or accident damage, you know, basically we're starting from nothing and we're going to get this whole back half back together. So you can see I've already done some cutting and opened this up a little bit. I've got some repair work to do on these engine bay shelves here before we can start to fit our rear wings and our bumper mounts and then the apron and everything. So I'm going to get in, knock that out, and then I'll show you guys exactly how to start fitting all this stuff up together. So we're finished up in the engine bay here. We had a few holes on each side where either some old breather lines or some old AC lines or something were, were cut and run through there. So we got those all patched up. We had a couple splits in the tray over here. Got those all welded back up. Basically, I wanted to just knock this stuff out before we started adding sheet metal back in here while it's still open and accessible. All right, so our first real step here is gonna to be to start to fit up our rear wing pieces. So by wing, I mean, you know, the very tail section of this rear quarter panel. It's got our bumper mount, it's got our rear most fender mounts and everything on the piece. So this is our new, new piece of aftermarket sheet metal we're gonna use. So you can see this piece comes, you know, it provides us a lot of new material here. So on this particular vehicle, we're gonna try to retain as much of the original sheet metal as we can. We're gonna try to avoid getting into this deck lid seal channel. We don't wanna mess with that. We mostly just want to repair the bumper mounts, our rear fender mounts, and give us a good solid location for our rear apron. So the first thing I'm gonna do is basically get this piece cut down to closer fit, you know, where I've cut my old piece out. So if we look here, you know, I've got two fender mount locations here, two fender mount locations here. All I'm gonna do is just put this up here in the basic area that it's gonna go. And then I'm just going to mark the inside of it where my existing cut is. And that's going to give me an idea of where I need to cut it. So I just got a line in here. I'm going to have another line here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut all of this off out of the way. Now, when I cut this, I'm going to cut, you know, an inch, a half inch or so beyond this line. That way I still have plenty of material to work with getting this fit up exactly or of wanting. All I'm doing is eliminating a bunch of this excess material that we don't really need anyway. 
So we've got this piece cut down. You can see it's a much more manageable size piece. It's gonna fit up here a lot easier. We can see where it's gonna need to be. So next question is, how do we know where this piece needs to land? You know, when we if we just cut this and weld it on here right now, may not be right. So how can we ensure that this is where we need it to be? So the easiest way to do that, put the fender on the car, right? So, you know, we got three fender attachment points back here. So if we put the fender on the car, we can literally just use the rear section of the fender to hold this exactly where it needs to be all through our mock-up phase. So we'll get both sides fit up like that. We'll mock up the rear apron. If it all fits, we're good to go. We can start welding this together. So that's the next step. I'm gonna get the other side cut down, ready to clamp on. I'm gonna get both the fenders hung on here and get these pieces fit exactly where they need to be. Okay, so we've got both of our fenders on both sides all bolted up. So you can see, you know, we've got some gaps. None of this is all fitted together very well yet, but it's, it's roughly where we need it to be. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tightening this fender up, starting at the front of the car. I'm just gonna tighten all these bolts up, get this fender locked in exactly where I want it to be while leaving these last three loose. And that's gonna allow me to kind of shift this around, figure it out, get ex exactly where I want it so that I know that it's gonna fit nice and even with the back side of the fender here. So basically, you know, we're, we're gonna put our rear apron directly on top of this. So we want these pieces to fit, you know, just, just underneath our top plane of the fender here. So, you know, just enough space ab above it for that apron to sit on top of it and everything end up being nice and flush when we're finished. So we've got our new rear wing piece all fit, prepped, ready to weld on. So you can see I've got both, both pieces cleaned up, ground, nice and clean. All of our burrs are moved, gonna be nice, easy, clean welds on here. I've also got some weld primer on the inside of our engine shelf here. So that's gonna be nice and protected once this is all welded on. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fit this up on here, get this tacked on, all right? Once this side's tacked on, I'm going to jump over, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Take the fender off, cut the piece, prep it, fit it, tack it on there. All right, so let's jump into it.
Okay, so we got both of our rear wings fit up, tacked on here. They look pretty good. I think we're gonna be right where we wanna be. I grabbed our old rear apron and threw up here just to you know, kind of visualize all this together. So our next step is gonna to be to put our fenders back on. Then we'll get our new apron, start fitting it, make sure it's gonna land exactly where we want it to be. And we'll start getting this, ap this rear apron ready to weld on. Day two. So we've got our apron on here fitting pretty well. Our next step is to get a fender on here and make sure that it's gonna match up and fit clean with our apron and our deck lid and everything. So our primary concern when we're looking at the fender in relation to the apron is, does it fit nice and smooth? You know, the top plane of our apron with the top plane of our fender. Is that a nice, smooth, even transition? And then does this bottom edge line up? So a lot of cars you'll see where the fenders hang down lower than the apron and the apron hangs down lower than the fenders and you just don't have a clean body line right here on the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the measurement from right here in the corner where our fender meets up. So our fender comes down into this corner, turns and then comes straight down along the apron. So, you know, this, this line kind of matches up from fender to apron. So on our fender, from this point down to the bottom is right about 13 and a quarter. So all I'm gonna do is check this and see if it's relatively the same. So having a, a steel rule like this makes some, something like this very easy because I can just set it all the way up here to where that body line transitions, line it up right there, and then just flex this thing all the way down the apron. And I'm right about 13 and a quarter. So I should land right where I wanna be. So the next thing is gonna be to put the fenders on here. So currently we've got our clamps that are right in the way. So we can't bolt a fender up to this because these clamps are holding in the way. So we're gonna get something else to hold these on. So one of the things I like to use when working on stuff like this is what's called a Clico fastener. So all this is is just a simple little fastener where with a specific pair of pliers, these just push out this little barbed end and it pulls it back together. So if we just take our drill and drill an eighth inch hole we can place this through that hole and then that barb will pull both of our pieces and hold them together in place where we want them. So on these aprons, all I'll do is just pop a couple of little holes in here, put these Clico fasteners in there and that'll hold this apron in place right where I want it in order for me to check my, my fender fitment. That way I can get these clamps out of the way, I can still get my bolts in here, check my, that my gap here between the fender is all still nice and everything stays exactly where I want it. The other benefit of this is I'm, after I fit the fender, I'm gonna take this off, prep all of my metal and everything, and this gives me a point of location to where I can go exactly back to where I had this thing on here before. So I don't have to worry with taking it off and then getting it back in exactly the right spot. I know that as long as I have these holes lined up, it's gonna go exactly where I want it to go. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put these in real quick. So I'm just gonna start right up here at the top and just pop a little hole in here. Like I said, this is just an eighth inch hole. We're gonna go through both our apron and our wing piece. Then we just take these pliers, squeeze it together, pop it in place, and that is in there holding both of these pieces together. So we're gonna do a couple more of these and get this held on here. So now I can take both of these clamps off, get them out of the way. This thing is gonna stay exactly in the same spot. It's not gonna move. And all I have is three eighth inch holes. It'll take me half a second to weld these back up when I'm in here welding this apron back on. So it's no big deal. You know, a couple of little holes, this thing stays exactly where we want it. Alleviates a lot of headache, you know, on the, the mock-up process. We can take this thing on and off as many times as we want and it's gonna go back to that exact same location every single time.
Okay, so we put our fenders up here. We verified that everything is still right where we want it to be. Everything's gonna line up. All of our fender mount locations are still lined up. Our bottom most body line here with the bottom of the fender matches up very nice. Our plane here matches up. Everything is right where we want it to be. So our next step is gonna be to prep this apron to get it welded on. So from the factory, you know, we have spot weld, resistant spot welds that hold all this on. I don't have any way to duplicate that. So what we're gonna do is put just some plug welds in here. So all we're gonna do is drill, you know, like a 3 16 hole, you know, not a very large hole, all up down, up and down the side of this apron. And then we'll just plug weld all this back on. It'll look mostly original, nobody really ever tell. We're also gonna do probably one or two plug welds right here. A lot of people will weld this seam right here and it's very difficult to make that look clean. So what I like to do is just get this seam fitting as tight as I can, put a couple of plug welds in there to hold it in place, and then we'll come back and that'll get some seam sealer and everything in it and make it look really nice and OEM. Um, after that, we can clean this up, get this fitting really nice, get it welded up, and finish all of this out so it looks as nice and clean and, and as original as possible. So we'll get this off, start prepping it up, and I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like going back on. So we got everything fully prepped up, ready to start putting this together for the final time. You can see all of my spots where I'm gonna do my plug welds, I've got those clean ground nice and clean. Same thing on my apron, I've got all these pre-ground nice and clean. I went ahead and sprayed some weld primer on the inside of all of this. So this is all as good as it's gonna get, ready to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fully weld out all of my, my joints on my rear wings here, both sides. That way I can go ahead and get these cleaned up, get them ground down. Same thing on the inside. I can get the inside completely cleaned up, ground down, get some corrosion protection on there before we close it all up with the apron. So I'm going to knock that out and then we'll get the apron going on there.
Okay, we've got all of our wings all fully welded up, cleaned up ground inside and outside. Corrosion protection sprayed on the inside. Our apron nice and fitting, good and tight on here now. Exactly where we want it, everything's good to go. Time to start welding this thing on. So like I said before, we're just gonna do a series of plug welds down the side of this to kind of replicate the OEM spot weld. So I've drilled all my holes in here. I've cleaned both panels up inside and outside. So the key to these successful plug welds is gonna to be to getting these panels really tight up against each other. So we've still got our Clico fasteners in here holding everything in place. But you'll see as I'm going to move up and execute all of these plug welds, I'm going to move this clamp up to every single one of these as I do it. And what that's going to do is right there where that plug weld is, it's just going to keep both pieces really nice and tight together. So there's no air gap in between the pieces. That's going to eliminate you know, a lot of our opportunities for rust to, to initiate in there. It's also going to make this weld much easier with any air gap. That plug weld is going to have a tendency to want to blow out. It's going to want to open up much easier. So keeping this clamped up nice and tight through the whole process is going to be key to, to making this really easy on us. Um, so I'm going to start welding this up. We'll get both sides welded on. We'll jump on in the inside, get the inside welded up, and then we'll be almost finished up with this back, back section. Okay, so we got the outside of the apron all wrapped up. We've got three little plug welds we're going to do here on the inside. And then this engine bay shelf is our last thing. This gets overlooked a lot of times on these cars. We do need to put a couple of plug welds into the wing from the inside here. But then also, if we look at this, this is the channel that our engine bay seal sits in. And may, I've, I've seen many, many cars that come in and if they'll just weld the piece right here. And our seal channel will not line up. This seal is supposed to all be one piece. If this doesn't line up, you'll have to cut the seal right here and you'll end up getting dust and everything up through your engine bay seal. So we're just gonna have to raise that up, get them nice and in line, and then we'll weld it in place while it's lifted up. Same thing on the other side. We just wanna make sure that our engine bay seal looks nice, stays in one piece, keeps our engine bay nice and clean. So that is a wrap for today on David's Beetle. So we got the deck lid on, fitting correctly. All our gaps are nice and neat. 
We got brand new metal down here on our bumper mounts, our rear quarter sections, brand new metal on our rear apron. So we got rid of all the rust, all the ill-fitting sheet metal. Everything's good to go now. We can move on to other parts of this car. So remember this, we are prepping this car to go to the body shop for paint work. So we've still got floor pans to do. We've still got a front apron and spare tire well. Uh, maybe some heater channel action, not really sure yet. We got a bunch of little stuff in the dash and miscellaneous stuff on the car. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that. So if you like watching this, if it's something you're into, please subscribe and stick around and I will see you guys next time.